Today's question is from Amelia, and it's all about downloading SVG files. How do I download them? How do I work with them? How do I upload them to Design Space? This is the Creative Crafters podcast. Hi, I'm Bet from Bet's Makes, and this is your questions answered. Now, downloading SVG files uh, can create a little bit of a problem because quite often, instead of actually downloading, what they do is they open up in a new browser window, making you think that you really don't have it. So if that happens to you, it opens up a new, a new browser window, just remember all you need to do is right click on it and click save or save as and then place it into your downloads folder so downloading an SVG file is much easier that way. What it really does is confuse everybody by opening up in a new tab and I noticed that with a lot of summits and workshops unless it's zipped up it will come in a new tab but most people don't understand all you need to do is right click and download it from there. Now that is one way to download it. Quite often if you go to sites where they offer free SVGs or other SVGs that you purchase, when you download it, it comes in a zip file format and that will download immediately into your downloads folder unless you have your system set up for something else. Now once you see that zip file and it's on your downloads folder, go to the zip file. If you're using an Apple, you can just double click on it and open it right away. If you are using a PC, you will find that you have to unzip that folder in order to get what's inside and it's called extract all. If you're using the Chrome browser, all you have to do is click on it to open it and you'll see on the top um, menu bar where it says extract all you want to extract all it will come up with a folder name where it wants to put it you can make your change right there and then of course you unzip it and then it is available for upload anywhere else now once you open design space this is an interesting part and you click on a new project and click on upload and then browse your files. Once you go into your downloads folder you should see the SVG files there and quite easily all you can do is upload one at a time, click on the SVG file you want, click open, it will be uploaded into design space and then it will ask you what kind of file is. I always put you know it's complex if it asks you pick complex and then just simply upload it sometimes it will upload immediately and all you need to do is click OK but the biggest thing is downloading the SVG files that is creating the issue so a couple of things here one if it's a single SVG file quite often it will open in a new tab you have to right click and then tell it where you want it to be saved. Otherwise, it will come in zip format and then you'll have to unzip the folder, especially if you're using a PC, and put it into another folder. Now, I know it sounds complicated, but those are the two different ways that you can deal with it. This has been the Creative Crafters Podcast and your questions answered.